So, this is I just multiplied it by m, gamma is 1 over root 1 minus v square, there is a 1 here and a v here. What is this m? This is what you must have been brainwashed as rest mass. Okay. Particles have only one mass and that is the rest mass. The particle mass does not change with velocity. So, if someone has taught you in special relativity that the mass of the particle increases with velocity is wrong. Okay. Particles have one mass and that is this mass which is usually called the rest mass. The reason people started thinking that particle masses change with velocity is again a hang up from uh, non relativistic physics. See people found that if you take the momentum and velocity relationship p was m v. Now, you find that the 3 vector p is m v upon root 1 minus v square. So, it looks very nice to think of this as some kind of an effective mass and then say that it is the m effective times velocity. But I could have said that the energy of a particle is half m v square and take the relativistic expression for energy and from that define how mass will change with velocity by dividing by v square, you would have got a different expression. And even if I look at the acceleration and force divided by acceleration, I will get yet another expression. In fact, if the velocity is along the direction of acceleration or opposite, I will get two different masses. So, in the old fashioned textbook, they will define a longitudinal mass, transverse mass, energy mass, rest mass, all this is nonsense. There is only one mass and that is the mass which is which is usually called the rest mass. It just happens that the relationship between momentum and velocity happens to be m v upon root 1 minus v square. I mean give take it or leave it. So, it was not m v and that was an approximation. Okay. So, think of mass as just this. So, mass is a attribute to the particle like charge. We do not have a deeper understanding of that yet. 